you are a professional producer, you decide to take the song till the final destination and actually take care about your own mix down, then it's time to consider mastering. Studio DMI for Mastering offer two types of service, Stereo Master and Stem Master. The mindset is the same. The difference is options on files. So when you prepare a song for mastering, if it's a stereo master or stem mastering, I want you to make sure that you are making a final decision about the mixing quality. What the mixing quality means. Don't try to make correction on mastering that can be done during the mixing process. What those corrections can be. Kick level, snare level, how loud is the vocal, how loud are the reverbs. So make those decisions during the mixing phase. Now leave edge room for mastering, either if it's like one stereo file or eight stamps, do the same. Leave edge room, leave space for the mastering engineer. Another point, if you use compression and EQ during the mixing phase on your stereo bus, leave it on, don't turn it off. You eventually make decision during the mixing phase based on the EQ and compression of your stereo bus, leave it on. Now, if you use any type of limiting or clipping, that's a different story. You should give the engineer two options. Send your rough master with limiting and clipping, but then send the pre-master with edge room. How much edge room we are talking about? I recommend 32-bit floating files with four to six dB of edge room. Now, let's talk about communication with the master engineer, either myself or anybody else through the DMI. You should consider to have reference tracks. Reference tracks can be your own, Mixes, of course, and mastering as a reference, but also somebody else that you really like. And then when you communicate, when you think about a reference track, think about like ideal Spotify playlist or Apple Music playlist, where you wanna virtually bring your song into the playlist with other songs and you wanna fit with other songs. So it doesn't mean you're gonna copy somebody else's mastering, it means you wanna fit in a certain space. This most of the time is tonal balance, EQ, and compression. In case of a single versus an album, it's a different mindset. So if you think as a mastering an album on an EP, I recommend to take one track as a main reference for the entire album or the EP. What that means, it means we start from one track, we create kind of like a guideline for the rest of the album which including LUFS, peak RMS level, tonal balance, the overall width of the song, and space. So you wanna make sure when you play on any DSP and you skip really quick through the album, you wanna feel cohesive. You wanna feel that you are in the same space, produced by the same person, part of the same album. Once again, if it's time for mastering, send to Studio DMI a 44K 32-bit file or 48K 32-bit file. Studio MI eventually will provide two masters, especially if it's a club track. You receive the main master, and after approval, you might receive a DSP version, which is a version compatible for Spotify or Apple Music. When you're in the process of mixing, most likely you're gonna A and B with other songs. Make sure to level match any reference track. Most of the reference songs, they're mastered. So remember, if it's a song is minus five, minus six RMS, lower the song, match with your track, instead of pushing your song to that level. You wanna make sure that you are not compromising dynamics to try to compete with a reference track. All right, you are ready for mix now. Make a commitment, print a track, send over. Let's do this mastering.